Hello again, Dolphin Oracle here. <coughs> Dio. We are uh, now back in our native environment running on native hardware. We have a new install of Antics in front of us. Uh, I am running the 64 bit version uh, of Antics. It's running very, very well. If you followed the last video and you were installing for a dual boot, you may have tried to dual boot back into Windows and let's just say Grub probably didn't act correctly for you. We're going to show you how to edit your menu.list file so that uh, to correct some errors that happen during the Grub installation. So what we'll do, we'll come down here to Control Center, and we'll click on the System tab and Edit Config Files. It's going to ask for our root password. You need that to edit menu.list. There's lots of things in here. We'll talk about a few of these in, at another time, but one we're looking at right now is menu.list. We'll click on that tab and you'll see a bunch of things defining themes and messages and colors. But This area right here is what we're interested in. The Windows 7 uh, install um, uh, entry. And You'll see that it looks like gobbledygook and it is. Uh, these two entries uh, are unnecessary so we can delete them. And in fact, they're not actually correct. Uh, the root no verify line is incomplete. Uh, if you are on the whoops, I did something strange. There we go. If you are on the uh, if you are on a OneDrive system, your Windows partition is probably at HD zero comma zero. That's the grub starts counting at zero, so you get HD um, zero is the first hard drive, and then comma is the first part. The next number is the first partition. So mine's on uh, the first two partitions. It, for example, if you come down to the recovery environment entry that I have, you may not have that. that that's a but that's pretty common on laptops. Uh, if you come down here, you'll it's still HD zero. Whoops, I forgot the parentheses. Uh, but comma one because it's on actually on the loader on my system is actually on the second um, on a second partition. Um, then all you need is a chain loader plus one. It'll actually grub just goes to the to the Windows partition, hands it over, and says, "Okay, you boot from here." And then the Windows bootloader takes over. You save the file, and when you reboot, your Windows partition should be accessible through the grub menu. Any questions, post them up on antics.freeforum.org. Uh, you can leave a message in the comments. I'll help you as best I can. But the guys at the forums are much more knowledgeable about it than I am on the inner workings of Antics. I've been using it for a long time, but those guys build it. Thanks.